What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be um well I'm going to be starting a series where I basically play as every team in the demo and I try out three different formations with each team. So uh you've got a three defense formation, a four defense formation and a five defense formation. And uh I basically test them out with all the different teams and see which one I guess works best with which team. Uh I'm not going to be using the match day feature because uh if you're playing career mode or something like that that's unavailable so um, yeah let's get started the first team I'm gonna play as is Man City um, basically the first team that is available in the demo uh, I'm gonna be starting with a four man defense and I'm gonna be playing four four two diamond wide which is basically four one two one two so uh, as you can see I've got Michael Richards at right back instead of Zabaleta and Clichy at left back uh, I've got Samir Nasri in attacking mid with David Silva out wide left and then uh, Yaya Toure in defense, defensive mid and James Milner at wide right. Uh, Aguero and Balotelli are my attacking pair, uh, sort of like a, a big and little sort of thing. Anyway, let's get into some gameplay. That was a brilliant challenge, but it also highlighted one of the defensive weaknesses that it's very easy to get pulled apart if you've got a four-man defense but then that leads straight to an attack where well I get pretty lucky I guess uh, David Silva manages to finish the rebound but it's barely a goal to be honest I mean it took a massive deflection which just put off Abiati. Uh I'm gonna play against AC Milan in every match um, anyway so now Abiati has cleared it here Good header forward. I like this play a lot. This is really, really nice from Aguero. The first ball's good, but then Aguero just good finish. It was sort of a semi uh, L2, R2, or left trigger, right trigger, whatever you want to call it, uh, touch, which allowed him to move away from the defender. But they always say that you're most uh, vulnerable when you just scored, and none more so than in this situation very lucky with the first touch to be honest that's one of the things about it but uh, we get to this point now I want to show you this this is one of my favorite passing plays I did when I th with all my gameplay you just have to look at this b bit of play it's beautiful the, the passes they make and the touches watch Balotelli here L2 R2 just keep him facing the goal plays it back to David Silva and then Silva switches the play Milner a bit lucky with the first touch but he manages to get it out to Michael Richards and it's a good cross in unlucky not to get anything out of that so I won the match 2-1 in the end uh, I have to say I did enjoy the formation I thought defensively Man City might y I'm, I mean I tried Michael Richards and Clichy maybe if you want to try Kolarov he might be better defensively for example but overall I'm happy with this if I was to rate it out of 10 I'd give it maybe uh, seven, seven and a half out of ten. Um, but the next formation then that I'm going to try out is a three defense formation, I think. So we are on our three-man defense. It's going to be three, four, two, one. That means we've got two center forwards and three and two center mids. Um, so we're going to go with a new. Well, three defenders. Colo Torre is going to be my third centre back, and Vincent Company in Lescott as last match. Uh, I'm going to try David Silva right mid and Nasri left mid. I want to see how Milner does in the centre with Yaya Torre because they're both very hard working players. Then we've got Balotelli and Tevez as the centre forwards, and Aguero as the pure striker. Uh, I have to say, it looks like a good formation before the match. So, um, yeah, as I said, Milner and Torre are both very hard-working and good defensive players, so maybe that might give me an extra bit of uh, power in, defen in the defending side. But AC Milan get an attack here, that's a great challenge. I mean, it's really easy to give away a penalty there. But I just wanted to show a bit of defensive work as well, because it's important to know how good the team is overall. So here, we have some nice passing going on. I have to say it's it's so easy to make mistakes with the first touch control as everyone who's played this has said it's important not to sprint straight away but look at this for what a goal this is 
Tevez just on the half volley from outside the box smashes it in. I've never scored a goal like that to be honest. I've always tried. I never, I don't try to take corners uh, straight into the box. I always want to give that a go because you never know what might happen. But the match ends one nil. Uh, I love that performance. I I I really did. I thought it was excellent. I got a bit lucky at times. Um, I don't show many of the the, the chances they had, but. It was very one of the problems with I guess a three man defense is if they uh if they pull out one of if they get out wide, you don't have any defensive cover. Which is probably why you should play Milner at right mid or left mid. But um if you don't have any defensive cover for them uh for the centre backs, one of them is gonna have to peel away and that leaves a huge gap in the defence. So if if you're one of those people who likes to uh just second man control uh second man defend I guess then this might not be the formation for you but anyway we get to our final formation which is a five man defense it's a 5-2-1-2 two, two. and um, well I think with this formation it's a lot easier to be more attacking minded so I've got Zabaleta and Kolarov at the wing back position uh, I've taken out uh, Lescott and I put in Michael Richards uh, I wanted to see how he'd do it centre back I think he'd, he'd suit this formation well. Oh no, I kept Lescott in. Uh, I got rid of Toure. So you've got Michael Richards, company, and Lescott at centre-back. Uh, in the midfield, we have Yaya Toure and Nasri as our centre midfields. I think, as I said, it's easier to be more attacking-minded with this formation because you've got five defenders. So uh, we, we stuck with that. And then David Silva attacking mid, Balotelli and Aguero, as usual. That's a nice... I mean, it's hard to keep the ball in play after the first touch, but Nasri does well there. This is quite good. That's a beautiful goal from Aguero. Really, really well done. And, um, yeah, it's a really good goal to start off the match. But, of course, sometimes things don't always go your way. Joe Hart here with a massive clearance, which just... I don't know what happened there, but they get the ball. And it's surprisingly easy for them to beat all my men and there's a huge gap there I don't know how that happened and Montari finds it so easy to score from that sort of opportunity so uh, we drew the match 1-1 I could have gone to penalties but <coughs> excuse me I could have gone to penalties but I wanted to highlight the fact that this was probably my worst formation uh, I thought it would be quite good, I have to say, before the match. But you just look at the stats, 47% of possession. Even though I had high passing accuracy compared to my last couple of matches. And then um, three shots, one on target. Uh, not the best match. A lot of tackles. I don't know why I had to make so many. But, um, yeah, so uh, I was, if I was to rate this, <coughs> I would give it a uh, four. Well, I'd give it a sort of 5 out of 10 I guess uh, so the best formation in my opinion for Man City is a 3 man defence with uh, Milner and Yaya Toure also in centre mid so thank you guys so much for watching uh, a like and subscribe is always appreciated if you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah hopefully I can continue this series leading up to the game so uh, yeah peace guys